to create bingo cards in Canva. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to my channel where we show you how to make money online with low content products like KDP low content books, printables and digital planners. So bingo cards is very popular over on Etsy, especially in the party planning niche. So I went along and typed in just bingo cards. Now, obviously you get the proper bingo cards that people use in bingo halls and uh, where people play bingo, like in pubs and clubs and stuff like that. But there's also different bingo things that are done at parties like baby bingo and custom bingo and spring bingo and um, hen parties and Easter bingo and spring bingo and 80s music and things like that. Now, the Canva one does not do images but it does do text like these ones here. So I'm going to pop over and show you how it's done. So if we go into Canva, I'm actually going to create a design first because I want the uh, card to actually go on to specific design. So I'm going to go on to create a design and um, I want a custom size and I'm going to go for my eight and a half inch by 11 inch and I'm going to create a new design. And then I'm going to go and grab some free elements. You need to check your uh, licensing on your different things. And in fact, I'm going to use these two that I've put in. But what you can do to find your elements is I've gone Tea Party. And I've put my filter on and I just want to use free items. So I'm going to apply that. See all. And I'm going to use the spunting here and I'll need to do it from about, I might just put it across so it bleeds. Command D to duplicate and duplicate again. So it's automatically gone there. I'm going to highlight that and then group. And then I'm going to use this one here. I'm going to resize it and just put it down in the corner. Then what I need to do is I'm going to go to apps and I'm going to type in search for Canva apps. I'm going to type in bingo and it brings up bingo cards. I'm going to select this one here. And it gives you some categories which will automatically populate different things for you. So American football, some of that's probably trademark. Harry Potter is definitely trademark, so I wouldn't be touching any of those. But if you just click on it, I know this is Harry Potter, it, the words automatically um, populate for you. So I'm going to actually take those off because I'm not going to use them. I've been and got some words for tea parties. So I'm going to put that in. So I've got scones, jam, clotted cream, tea, finger sandwiches, cupcake, Prosecco. I might change that to sparkling wine. Uh, teapot, teacup, garden party, tablecloth, napkins, apron, sugar, honey and flowers. I'm going to change the grid size to 4x4, four four, although you can have 2x2, two 3x3, by 4x4 two, three by three, four by four, and 5x5. Five by five. Number of cards, you can create as many as you want. Obviously, you want different cards with different things in different places because you've got the different shapes of lines and, and different rules for bingo. And then you can change your font. I might go for this Gil Sands. And then you can add your grid lines on or you can take them off. I'm going to keep them on. I'm going to create my bingo cards here. And then all I need to do is click on there and it brings it out for me. And I can tidy this up like that. And obviously, if you want to change your positions of everything, I want to get these done first, but I'll talk about positions. So I just need to duplicate that page, take that one off, add that one on, because we can already see it's a different size. And obviously, I can check what the size is and what placement I put everything. In. So I can see that that needs to be about there. And then again, duplicate page. And what I could do is put 
that on top so I can see where I'm going and then I know it's exact and then I would delete the bottom layer which I'm going to do just now but I'm just so I'm not going to carry on delete one so I should be on full now That tablecloth, garden, honey, and now I want jam. Excellent. The Canva has finally, finally got layers. So I'm going to click on here, I'm going to click to position, I'm going to click to layers, and we can actually see what we've got. So it's this one that I actually want to delete, the bottom one, and delete, and that's cleared that. And then I go back to that one and click on that. And delete. So you need to make sure that you actually finish all your cards first before you actually start editing and changing everything around. But that is how you quickly create bingo cards inside of Canva using their new bingo card generator app. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well.